Yes, I am. Yes, um, I am Inspector Paul, popularly oh. known as Papilo. This is my colleague from State Headquarters. Okay. Uh... You're under arrest for breaking entry and stealing the properties belonging to Scott Halfred. You have the right to hand on Whatever you say could be used against you in a lockup. Pump your brakes. No, no, wait, 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 wait. No, no. This is this is ridiculous. I didn't do anything. Explain that when you get to I'm not going anywhere. I said I'm not going anywhere. No, 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 no. I am not going anywhere. Didn't I what? tell you I was going to fry you like the small insignificant dog that you are? Didn't I tell you? Take this piece of garbage away. Is anything the matter? Sir, the police just arrested Mark. What for? For breaking our entry. What? It's in connection with the book Mark found in Scott's apartment. Oh my goodness. How did he link it to Mark? We don't know, sir. Nobody knows. Before we could blink an eyelid, they took him away. Oh. Dr. Jerry, besides me, you are the only one that knows Mark found the book. What then are you insinuating? That I told Scott about Mark? Of course, yes. That's what I'm saying categorically. And you know something? I have reason to suspect that you have a link with that faculty of humanity. How dare you say such a thing? How dare you, idiot! How dare you attempt to discredit my impeachable character in this country? Dr. Jerry, you can deceive us, but you certainly cannot deceive me. You are the one who told Scott about the book. And you know what? Let me assure you that you have failed, sir. Yes, you have failed. Scott, yeah. Scott, Scott, you can't do this. Do what? Mark, my brother. Mark is my only brother. Listen, how many times do I have to spell to this dumbo? You want me to scream into the rooftop? The only brothers you need and you will ever need are in the faculty. That freak of nature that was forced on you don't know shit. He's not your brother. Don't you know the rules? You know what? You know what? You know something, huh? Let's just face the fact and let's, let's put aside this rule thing. You've got brothers, you've got sisters, and not all of them belong to the faculty. You know that. True or false? Scott, you've got to let my brother go. The same dumb brother of yours is trying to destroy me. Scott, he hasn't destroyed you yet. So I have to wait for him? Scott! Listen, I don't want to deal with this, okay? Give me some room. Scott, listen. If you say I'm your brother, like you claim, you will care about my feelings. Let my brother go. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I'll protect you. I'll do whatever it takes. But I don't know that freak of nature. It's not my brother. It's not mine. Don't do this, Scott. Please. Please. Yo, yo, do chill. What? Yo, listen. Can I smoke my weed in peace? Scott, come on. Don't do this! Relax, man. God. Okay, you know what? Why don't you have some weed, man? This will bring you to the zone. You need to relax. Weed is a healer, dude. For real. Tell him. Good day, sir. Dave, what is the matter with you? Do you want to undermine our organization? Not at all, sir. That's what you're doing from your actions. The rule says you should not protect or defend the interest of a non-member. Besides, your brother is a thief, a criminal. Sir, all I ask of you is to temper justice with mercy. Sir, that's all I beg of you, sir. He brought it upon himself. I know, sir, but please do forgive. Forgive him. And henceforth, I will take responsibility for his actions. Justice, Father. That is what we want. That is what the faculty stands for. That is what we swore to abide by. Justice. Listen, Scott, we can sort this whole thing out. No hard feelings. I will keep him in check. This I assure you. Trust me. 
he was going to expose the membership of this organization, which we have held in secrecy for many years. If my son is exposed, invariably the whole nation will know that I have something to do with the faculty of humanity. If we must let him go, you must guarantee that he will be of good conduct. And again, Father, we insist the upset of the election. Otherwise, I will fix him for good. Yes, that is inclusive. And he must not tell anyone what he is. I saw. I promise he won't. Thanks, God. You are a true brother. Senate just gave me this letter of suspension. The Senate sat over your case and found you guilty of gross misconduct. No. I know it's just a grand conspiracy to silence the voice of the people. But let me assure you, I am heading straight for the law court. I'm going to fight you and all those you contracted legally. You should bury your face in shame. You need to pray to God for forgiveness. We shall see about that. All right, here's the deal, okay? We seal up the two ends of the street. The bank is on the right. We hit the bank while I remember the have the lookout on the left. It's that simple. What do you think? That's good. Yeah, it's all good. What do you mean it's good? I think it's perfect. I created this plan. I want to good. Hey, Dave. Good thing you rolled in now. We're about to finish um, the whole plan. Why are you looking ghastly? What's wrong? Yeah, I just um, went to visit Mark, and then he he told me that um, that they exchanged him for a hardened criminal, and then they're taking him to court for robbery trial next tomorrow. Yeah, nonsense. That said, he'd be set free. What's wrong with that? Yeah, yeah. But that's what that's what Mark told me. <coughs> hey, Dad. Um, listen. Um, Dave is here, and he said his brother Mark um, has been exchanged for a land robber, and he's. Oh, okay. Hey, you crafty. Okay, Dad, okay. Thanks. What did, what did he say? Well, it had to be exchanged so they will have um, a strong case, you know, with legal backing and everything. The judge is a um, faculty, so I don't have a problem. Oh, he don't know. He don't know. Oh, he could use a drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got you there. Right? Oh, mm. Yeah. Well, before that drink, um, we're, saying we're about to <coughs> say that. Why don't you be a part of our plan since we did you a good turn and everything? Let's hit like two banks and make some quick cash and everything. Rob a bank? Two banks. What? what are you talking about? That's not possible. We don't rob in the faculty. What do you know about the faculty? We don't operate on common laws. We live above the law. Oh, come on, guys. No. What if something goes wrong? Huh? What if we get caught? What if someone gets hurt? Nobody will be hurt. The plan is perfect. Nobody will get caught. And the event we get caught is simple. The faculty will get us out. Okay? Come on. It's no big deal. The best we can suffer is a few punitive measures internally and everything will be cool. Something just might go wrong. Nothing will go wrong. Okay, what's wrong with you? When the police, the army, the air force, the navy, they control the justice system as well. And if you're talking about the presidency, we're on top of the matter. So what are you talking about? You know what? You, you guys just count me out. I'm not down with this, okay? I'm not. Fine, shut them work. can 
put you out. No? But you know, Dave, it's either you're ruling with us or your brother can spend the rest of his life in jail. You know, I think that man can use that drink now. Yeah, make it long, strong, and cold. Hmm? <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to sit your lean ass down and listen to my plans? And things? Yet, they still killed him. They killed him. They killed him. My only brother. Oh, God. Didn't deserve to die. He was harmless. He was harmless. I know. They killed him. I know. And that's so cruel. What would they do is honey, please just get yourself together. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Come in. Hold on a sec. Yeah. Oh, Mama. Dave, so it's true. What? How could you kill your brother for rituals? How could you? Mama, no, not at all. I, I didn't kill Mark. I swear to God, I didn't kill Mark. That God, you measure. We will see to your doom. I nurtured you with meat and you fed me with tongues. You die a miserable death. Yes! I said it, yes! I am your mother. Yes! Mama, Mama.
bastard! Relax, man. Get off me! I swear to God, you're a dead man! You're a dead man, Scott! You heard me? What did I do? You're a walking corpse! Calm down, It was the last thing I do! I'm gonna bring you down for killing my brother! I swear to God! I had nothing to do with your brother's death. Dude. Was being an idiot trying to escape. For what? He got shot in the process. He had nothing to do with me. Dave, you gotta believe him. Scott didn't kill Mark. He lied once. He can lie again. You guys just get out of my house. I know you're a little upset now. When you put it all together in your head, maybe you realize the truth. I don't know. You know, maybe we could find something, a lead or whatever, you know. Dave, there are so many unanswered questions. Mm. Yeah. For instance, if the car was conveying him to the court, why would it stop in the middle of nowhere? I mean, going by the report that he was shot while he tried to escape. Yeah, I mean, come to think of it, Mark wouldn't just jump down from a car and take to his heels with two security guys by his side. That's not possible. I don't see Mark being that stupid. Hmm. You know what, Dave? Yeah. They brought him here to kill him. Really? Why'd you say that? I don't know. I just don't know. But come to think of it. They were on their way to the court, right? Then why would they come through this way? Yeah. I mean, this is not a way to the courthouse, is it? <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, something fishy. I'll find out. I just dreamt of Mark. Honey, Mark is dead. I want to be convinced that Mark was murdered. And if he was murdered, then he must get justice. Come to think of it, what of his body? I don't know. They wouldn't release his body to me. Dr. Matthias. Is the faculty a murderous club? Of course not. Why? Then give me justice. Justice? 
Whoever is responsible for my brother's death should be punished. Now that's what the faculty stands for. And that's what I fight for. I need justice. Dave, justice goes with proof. Give me something to hang on to. Then you see the full weight of justice. Everyone knows that Scott is responsible for my brother's death because Mark was a threat to his ambition of him becoming the SUG president. Everyone knows this. Well, okay, all right. You must prove the allegation beyond every reasonable doubt. Then you will see him punished accordingly. Take it back, please. I'm not interested, but thanks anyway. Dear, don't worry, I will take it. Uh, forgive me, sir. I don't mean to be rude. No, tell me, Dave. Are you in any way trying to undermine the faculty of human? Not at all, sir. I am a faculty and I stand by the dictates of the organization. You have been on a revenge mission against my son, isn't it? I am not after Scott. The faculty of humanity is an epitome of justice, and that's what I seek against the murderers of Mark. In other words, you don't believe that your brother's death was an accident? Sir, Mark was murdered. Your brother died trying to escape. That was a stupid thing for him to do, especially when he had been told that he would be set free at the court. Don't you think it's high time you, you left this case? I mean, give it up. Because no matter what you do, Mark will never come back to life. At least I'm going to prove to my mother that I'm innocent. And how do you intend to do that? I don't know. I'll look for a way somehow. Dave. Don't you think you'll be putting your life in danger? My life is worthless if I do not find the killers of Mark. I mean the real killers. I need to find them and expose them. And how will you find them? I don't know. <sighs> okay. If you insist, I'll come with you.
I don't know. Because I'm just tense, that's all. At times like this, you prove for the man. Oh, come on. <gasps> there he goes. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Okay. Okay. I don't know what to do, right? Yeah. I have nothing that I want, absolutely nothing. But I'll tell you what I want though. I want you to tell me why you killed Mark in cold blood recently. That's all I ask of you. Which Mark? Mark, asshole! You killed him five days ago. Oh, you can't remember. So you killed so many people. You're a blood sucker, huh? Come on, talk! Please, even if I killed him, I was only doing my job. Oh, is it? I can't even remember the guy you're talking about. Oh, you can't remember? Don't worry. When you see him in hell, you will remember. Mark is not a criminal, Shakira. He wouldn't be in hell. <laughs> Please, I was only carrying out instructions. Instructions? All right, then tell me. Who gave you that instruction? Tell me now! It, it, it was Papillo. He's, he's a superior officer. The trend we had in criminals is that we, we kill them before they get to court and then frame them for escaping. Is that so? Well, Mark is not a hardened criminal! Please, please, please. Oh God. God, please don't kill me. You said who sent you? Papi. Papi. Why are you in a hurry? We're spending the night, are we not? The angel oh. sent you mm. for a mission. Okay, if you insist. I insist. You make another. No. Let me get it up. Oh, don't worry. Any sudden move and you're a dead man, believe me. Who are you? I do all the questioning around here and you do the answering. Is that understood? I can just take anything and leave. Oh, shut up your big mouth and beg for your life. Who asked you to kill Mark? Mark. There must have been a mix-up somewhere. I don't kill people. I kill ham robber. Mark was not an ham robber. Who ordered his murder? Yeah, I remember him. Fine, good. Now, since your memory is beginning to juggle, would you tell me now who asked you to kill him? The faculty dude. 
They asked me to kill them. That is absolutely false because the faculty doesn't kill people. Listen, boy. You don't know what you are getting involved in. The faculty is bigger than you will ever imagine. Is that so? Well, if you must know, I am a facultite. And the faculty of humanity is governed by rules. Rules that states that we stand for justice for all. Right? I thought as much. You see, you must be new. Through time you grow, you get to know a lot of things as you grow. I'm gonna ask you for the last time. Who asked you to kill Mark? Oh, hot. Okay? No, oh, hot. Let me tell you. Hey, it is your phone now. Let me be the judge of that. Chief Alfred, the gang patron of the Faculty of Humanity, asked me to kill Mark. Chief Alfred asked you to kill Mark. I don't believe you. But why? Is it because of this SUG bullshit? Um, Mark discovered Chief was leading a cult and he was going to blow the lead. That is all I can tell you. Please, you can go. We do not have to use open diabolism in our activities. This has been the point of departure of you. Your Lordship, you and I know that we are agents of the Prince of the Earth and that we have the means to the power. Your Lordship, we have means to the power. Your Lordship, let us use this power rather than chase this boy here and there. I do not have to use such powers now. See, your lordship, the reason why once in a while dissidents emerge in our organization is because they think we are empty. Your lordship, they think we are empty. Why not for once, just for once, show some example? We do not have to use the powers of darkness. The big deal is chilly glory. But he cannot stop us. He cannot stop us from using the power that we. I say no one uses power of darkness until it is dark. Bring forth the hour of darkness. Bring forth the hour of darkness so that we can possess our position. Dr. Matthias. You do not have to undermine my position as the Grand Lord of the Faculty of Humanity. But, but, but you know, we are confident of... Dr. Matthias, I have spoken. I told you guys this was going to work like a charm. No, they look at him. It was good. Why, Rich? What do you smell? Monday? Oh, damn, Monday. Yeah. Okay, here, here, boss. Listen, this is the deal right here. Okay? Big Daddy gets 70%, and your asses can get 30%. Alright? Yeah. 
right? Because I planned it, I sponsored it, and if I ever did a whole shit, y'all would just look at us. Wait, is there a problem here? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. No, man. Man, you're no, the man, man. Man. Oh, man. Okay, who's the man? Oh, you're the man. Who's yeah. the man? You're the man, man. 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 I thought it was going to be Listen, 30% is about two minutes, so here, get used to being rich, right? Oh, my God. I'm getting myself out of here. Why am I doing this? Put your hands where I can see them. Okay, Chuck, you're pointing God at me, Scott. Put my hands up. Put my hands up. Yeah. Scott, I'll put a lead in your head. Put your hands where I can see them. Now. So, do you have any idea what you are doing? Oh, very well, I do. In the bag over here now. What? You don't like this dude no more? I will shoot him in his head. Bring that bag here now. Find out sometime soon, not to worry. You know what? Whatever it takes, I'm going to nail your cross breed ass with this. Trust me with that. Yeah, the story of my life. Alright, guys, get your asses in the toilet now. What? The what? You can't do that, man! You, you, you put a miscut in the toilet! You know, I've been talking to you guys with this gun in safety. Now it's not. I will pump a bullet in his head right now. I said, get your ass in the toilet. Your turn, Scott. Come on, man. Some of my boys. You can love me in the toilet, my boys. Get inside now. You know, before it was just business, but now I really hate you. The cross to that's is mine. Contrary. The man is seeking justice. We denied him. Justice? Justice by killing our men left, right, and center? Killing his own brothers? Then, in that case, let us employ the power that be to invite him here. We don't need any such powers. We can find him by ourselves and put an end to this madness. If we, we, we're seeking justice, let's be total. Except someone is hiding something here. I think I need some rest now. Whatever you think I have done against you, however way you feel I have offended you, I am sorry. Forgive me, please. I am still your son, no. You know now. Keep me away from me. You evil child. I caught the day I gave back to you. Mama, Mama please now. Why, why, why? How did it taste? What? How did it taste? How did what taste? How did Mark's body taste? You killed him, ate him, and all you can do is to bring a prostitute to my house. Eh? I'm so ashamed to have you as a son. I wish you had died the day I get back to you. Mm. Leave now before I throw hot water on you. Leave! Mama, Mama, listen. 
We're having serious problems. I'm having serious problems right now. We need to stay here with you so that the problem will cool down. Please now, Mama, please. Go! I said go! I said go! I, I, I didn't kill Marco. It wasn't me that killed Mark. Go here, take some money. Go. Get away from here. I don't need your evil money. I'm not part of it. Go away! I'm not part of your evil money. Dave. How can we be on the run when we know who we're looking for? You know, I honestly thought that with money, we could buy justice. But what are we doing? We're just spending money paying hotel bills. How long will we continue like that? How long? Tell me. You know, you know, you know something? I think you should just continue with your life, you know? Just leave me alone and continue with your life. Dave, do you know, sometimes you just talk like a child. All we need to do is just look hey, for- Hey, 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 Shakira. Chief Alfred is a very <laughs> powerful man. There is no way we can touch him. No way at all. Can't you understand that? Look, I have an idea. All we have to do is find our way into his building and we'll just have to look for something to nail him. Rule it out. It won't happen. Okay? Believe me, we've reached our crossroad. Dave. I have an idea. Believe me. Shandy. What's your name? I'm Chinere. Oh, Chinere. Nice name. Thank you. Do you stay around here? Yes. Live at Alfred's house. Oh, Alfred. Yeah. I know him. You know, I stay around here as well. <laughs> um, I like you. And I would like us to be friends. I hope you don't mind. Uh, why not? So, what do you say, you know, we seeing tomorrow or next tomorrow, whenever you have time? Okay. I'll be going to the market tomorrow afternoon. So when I come back in the evening, we can see. Okay, good idea. All right then, see you later. Okay, bye. You know, my brother just got back from U.S. <laughs> ah. Ah. Hi. Hi. Yeah? Hi, Dave. Yeah. Well, Dave, meet my friend, Chingere. Chingere, my brother, Dave. Um, Chingere, how are you? I'm fine. Good, good, good. Have you offered us something to drink? No, 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 not yet. We just got here. I don't oh. want anything. I'm okay. Okay, very well then. Should, I'll be downstairs, All okay? Right. When you're done. Okay. Um, Chinyere, there's something I want to discuss with you. With me? Yes. What for? We just met a few days ago. Well, it's nothing difficult, you know. But I just want you to do something for me. And if you do that thing well, I will give you 200,000 naira. <laughs> 200,000 naira for me. Just like that. <laughs> you think I'm joking, right? Okay. Yeah. This is 200,000 naira. All this will be yours if you accept to do what I want you to do. What do you want me to do? Well, 
I want to get into your guy's house. My guy's house? No. No. What do you want to do? Do you want to rob him? Uh, rob him? No, no, no. Do we look like robbers? I am my brother. No. no. We will not rob anybody. That's and we're not going to hurt anybody. Even if I get into the house, I won't hurt anybody. No, you can't tell my guy's house. So. All right, just sit down. Let me brief you. Look, when you get to the house today, Tell your ogre that you'll be going to the village, that your father is sick, and that you send your sister to take over your place. It's something very simple. Nobody will get hurt. Okay? And all this money will be yours. And then when you get back, we'll just get another room for you and you'll be relaxed, you know, feel cool with yourself. You can eat whatever you want to eat. And when the job is done, and I see you did a very good job, I'll even add something. Trust me. Mm -hmm. I know you can do it. It's just a simple job. I know you will do it. Nobody will get hurt. Okay? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Just get up. Get up. You are Chinyana's sister, is that? Yes, sir. Sit down. So, what is your own name? My name is Shandy. Shandy, sir. Shandy. Good. Uh, Chinyana called to say that you'll be standing in for her until her father gets better. Yes, sir. I hope she told you that I like my house to be kept clean at all times. Yes, sir. Yes. Very well. Then let me let me show you around the house. That's your room, yes. I guess. Didn't you tell you that when you woke up in the morning that my room is going to be your first spot of call? Nobody cleans my room when I am not around. Nobody enters my room when I am not around. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now, hurry up. I am in the sitting room. I want to lock my door myself.
other people, they say 40 now. Oh, yeah, give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me. Where have you been? Sir, I, I went to buy a bottle of dinner. Look, you don't go about buying things around here. Everything you need is in the fridge. I'm sorry, sir. I don't want to look for you again. Yes, sir. I, I, I am going out. me not to step out from the house he told me to stay indoors okay okay well you have to be fast and get out of there you know Scott comes home every Sunday you know that don't you good so you got four days to finish this job okay fine all right then all right then. bye yeah bye, bye.
As if you are frightened. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I'm fine, sir. No. I want you to tell me everything about that dream. You said it was uh, between you and I. So, what happened next? Um, sir, y you were. Um we, we were lovers. Um, I, I was your wife. And we, we had a fight. You were my wife? <laughs> that is strange. You'll be here barely 48 hours. So that is why I want to leave. I, I don't want problems. I don't want trouble. No, you are not leaving. You just be free. Feel free and talk to me. Eh? Okay, what is on your mind? Well, sir, um, when I came here, I, I was wondering what it would be like to, to be married to a man with so much power and affluence. <laughs> uh, my young girl, you see, sometimes, Dreams are very close to reality. Okay. Now, come on. Have this. Uh, try them on. What, sir? Just, just have it. I got them for you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Carried away by the beauty of the dresses that you didn't even notice me. So, for how long have you been here? Well, uh, I have been here long enough to see what is hidden under those clothes. And I, 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 I must commend your creator for taking time in making me. Sir, um, I, I want to take them off. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, get them off. I have seen enough for one day.
are you going to? I'm leaving. Leaving? What do you mean leaving? Is there anything the matter with you? Ching, you never told me that besides relieving her from her domestic work, that I was going to relieve her from her duties to you as a sex mate. Sex mate? I beg your pardon. What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying. And you're too old to act like a baby. How dare you talk to me like that? Do you know who you are talking to? Do you know that you are standing in front of one of the most powerful men on earth? And one who will soon mount the saddles of this country's presidency. I know that. And that is why I want to leave. Because I don't belong here. Besides, I respect the sanctity of my womanhood. So I have to preserve my, my body. So even if you're God, you have to respect my privacy. I see. Now sit down. I say sit down. I can see that you have some guts. Now, let me do something that I have not done in a long time. Now, what is that? You see, I just want to say I'm sorry. You just come and sit down, okay? okay. You're a politician, right? <laughs> you are too inquisitive. But I have every right to know everything about the man that likes me. You see, the moment you stepped into this house, your whole world changed. That's so nice to know, but I have one final question for you. Well, as long as you quench the fire in me, I will answer to any question you have. Did you have anything to do with Chinger? Well, well, uh, I am a busy man, as you can see. Well, at least you have time to sleep and, you know, indulge in other things. You know what? I am still surprised at what I feel for you. Because in the past, I've been too preoccupied with my own dreams than having time for the opposite sex. But, sir... If I do what you want me to do, I'll fall in love with you, and that will be... Look, I am already in love with you. Um, but at least, sir, uh, give me some time, you know, a few days more. No, I want you now. I want you to, but you can't have me now. Why? I'm on, I'm on my period. Very well then. I guess I have to go back to my room now. Good night then.
Get here. There is a nationwide search for you. Sir, I am a facultite and I stand for the cause of justice for all, which I know is the cardinal rule of the faculty. And so what do you want? Chief Alfred, he has a different agenda away from that of the faculty. How do you mean? He is linked to a terrorist group. Terrorist what? Yeah. He's just using the faculty as a smokescreen. I think he's subverted the primary objectives of this organization. You still do not make sense. Really? Take a look at this. How did you get this? In searching for the evidence that linked Chief Alfred to the murder of my brother because I found out that he actually ordered the execution of my brother. In that process, I stumbled onto this in his house. Well, this could just be a fabrication. 
After all, you could just deny everything here. Yeah? It is all in the system. The system can be destroyed in seconds. That man is evil. Young man, I do not understand why you have so much confidence to come to me, knowing that I'm the second in command in the faculty. I know you seek for justice. And that's the only reason why I'll let you go. Sir, I know what I am saying. Believe me, I know what I am talking about. That man is not fit to become the president of this country. He's going to sell out this country. Believe me. We need to stop him. We need to put an end to terrorism. Whatever you want me to, to, to give you. That's right. You know what I want? All I want is my fucking money. Yeah. You're gonna give it to me, right? Yeah, yes, I'll, I'll take you to the money. I'll give you your money. Honestly. Hey, you better not be kidding me. I'm not. Because I swear you fuck with me. I'll snap your neck. You hear that? I'm not. So Scott. Scott, what are you doing with my woman? That you know this bitch, huh? You know this bitch? Look, uh, uh, Scott, there's no need to get excited. You see, uh, Shandy. And Shandy? Is that the name she gave you? Oh, you are not bitch. You're good. You're really good. Her name is Shakira, Dad. This bitch's name is Shakira. We've been looking for her and her boyfriend, Dave, back in school. They're, they're, they're members of our school. <laughs> No, Scott. You are mixing up things. You see, uh, she's a naive village girl who came to help her cousin, Chinyana. Uh, Chinyana's dad has been ill quite enough for some time now. You don't believe me? All right, I'll prove it. Oh, yes, <gasps> bitch. I want you to tell my dad who you are and what your real name is. I'll snap your neck after the count of three. You got that? <gasps> One. <gasps> One. No, 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 no. Yeah, yes. Uh, um, I am who I am. <gasps> oh, Scott. Take it easy with that. Oh, oh, okay. Shut up! <laughs> yes, yes. Ah, uh, I am sh 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 Shakira. What? That's the bitch in my name. Uh, sir, sir, I, I came here because I love you. Shut up! What's going on? What does this bitch know about love? This bitch is a manipulator. Uh, let me kill her, Dad. Okay, come on, just Shandy uh, or, or Shakira, whatever. Uh, what are you doing in my house? Honestly, believe me, I came here because I admire you. Shut I up, bitch! You. Dad, come on, let me kill this bitch and everything will be fine. Just say the word. I'm telling you, I know what I'm doing. You believe me, but, but uh, this is unbelievable. A man of your stance, a man that controls things, that claims he sees and, and, and knows everything, and this little witch and daughter was strong, and you're letting her leave. Oh, Scott. 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 Oh, Sc
Scott, um, take her away. Let me think of what to do with her. Oh, sir, please, please don't allow him to take me away. He, he'll kill me. He wants to kill me because we stole from him. <laughs> just, bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, just, just petty cash. Don't worry, I'm on it or I'll handle it. Oh, you so, stole so, from my son? Yes, sir. He, he, he robbed the bank. And, and we stole what he robbed from the bank. <laughs> That's not true. Don't tell me you believe this witch. Scott, this is not the first time I'm hearing this. You don't, you don't believe me? Why, why, why would I want to steal? Hmm? You believe this bitch? I can't even tell you a real name. Scott! Tell me, have you by any means been using the name of the faculty to rob banks? Come on, dear. Why would I want to bring the name of the faculty to distribute people because of this? You can't believe this thing here. Yeah? Where are they, Dad? What do I need to rob for? Me, let me kill this. Sir, so he's a lie. He, he robbed the bank. That is why he wants us dead. He wants us dead by all means. Bitch, you're a liar. Give the word and this thing will end. Come on. Okay, I think I have to talk. There's nothing to talk about. Just give me the one and we end this bitch's life. Sir. Okay, Dad, we'll wait for you. Ah. 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 Where are we going? In there. In there to do what? I, I buried the money in there. You can move it. Playing you, I buried it in there. Did you explain us, Scott? Are you? No. So where's my money? I buried it in there now. Yo, where is my money? We've been everywhere. We've been ever here, there, everywhere. And not a sign of my money. Bitch, are you trying to tell me you can't find my money? Is that what you're telling me? No, I buried it there. So where is my money? Where, where, where is my money? Then stop yelling at me. Did you expect me to just drop the, 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 the money somewhere? Is that what you expected? Oh, yo, the bitch is got game right now. She's yelling at me. Huh? You're yelling back at me. Huh? Is, oh, she, she said she buried the money. We ain't got no shovel, man. Where's the shovel? There's a shovel in there. The, the, the one we used to use in, in digging. Bitch, are you playing me? I'm not. I'll splatter your brain over this bottle. I am not. So where's the shovel? Somewhere there. Just down there. You know, you, you, you keep going straight straight up there. Scott, I think I'll look for the shovel. Here, yeah, good. And you know what? Bring the shovel right back here. This bitch is gonna dig. You think we're gonna dig for you? Bet you better pray by whatever you serve that you find my money. If you don't find a shovel and if you don't find my money, bitch, I'm gonna kill you, bury you here, then your boyfriend will join you. What are you looking at? I, I think I can see, I, I can see a shovel down there. There. Oh, no! Oh, oh shit. Oh, man, it's good! It's good! Hey, stop right there! I said stop! Shit, man, I think it's being busted in my balls. Oh my god, god she's dead! I shoot him! Why do bitches kick people like that there, man? No, you. Remove your belt. What? Remove your belt! Right now! Did you give me all this? You wouldn't do it? I'll show hey, you. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. What'd you do? What did you do? Remove it. Right now. Tie what? him up. What? Tie him up! But you know what you're saying? I can't do that! He's my Tie best. him up! If you don't do it, I should it. And I'll shoot you as well. Oh, no, no. Hey, take it easy. Uh, uh, yo, you're a daughter. Are you gonna do that shit? I'm so I'm so bad. She's got a gun. Oh, no. I'm sorry, man. You don't know how sorry you'll be when I'm done with you. Sorry, man. She's got a gun, squad. Am I always hanging with losers, man? God, why? Hey, why? Loser, man. He's got huh? a Cause this retarded motherfucking bitch is time to tie me up and tie me up. No, I'm loyal, Scott. I'm always loyal. Shut the fuck up. You don't know shit about loyalty, man. Now you run. What? 
Run! Run! Hey, hey, take it easy, okay? Yo, motherfucker, you're not gonna leave me with this. I oh, said shit. run! She's got a gun! This bitch is gonna shoot me! Don't you see what she's trying to do? <laughs> sorry, man, I'm sorry! Look, don't leave me here, man! Come sorry, on, man. man, we're family! Sit down. Sit! Shoot, bitch! Sit! I'm gonna go see Angle, no man. Sit! Down! You're so dead. I swear. I'll just rip you, then I'll kill you. Let's wait for that. Your father is dead! Your mother is dead! Your dog! I will kill your fucking dog, too! I will kill the watches in your house! Bitch! Sorry, she's gone. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Stay. Yo, yo, you dumb motherfucker. What do I look like? You want to live in this state? You want to get her, Scott? A diamond, bitch. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm so sorry, Scott. Where'd she go? I'm gonna give her this. And the dad. Ah, that bitch is so dead. That bitch. Stupid, skinny bitch. You wanted to go on that dumb fucking Scotty. I thought you'd throw my ass up, but you tied me up. Huh? So you don't fuck her. <laughs> I'm more sorry than you. 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 Save my life, Victor. I will do anything to appease you. Please, Victor. I will do anything to appease you. Please, Victor. Please save my life. <laughs> is dead. Only the Grand Lord sees the effigy. The reason why I sent for you is that as the new Grand Lord, I have called off the arrest of Dave. Why? He still works against the interest of the organization. He asks for justice and justice he found. How? Because your father that the execution of Mark because he wanted to protect his interest. He didn't want to be exposed as a cultist. Mark was killed while he was trying to escape. Forget about those cook-up stories. I want to take the faculty to the next level. A time when people will begin to drive you when they come to realize that you belong to the faculty of humanity. An era when you can do the supernatural. You have the supernatural power to do whatever you want to do. What about my pursuance of the Armed Student Union government? Oh, we'll assist you. You're still one of us. So is they. Honey. Yeah? I've been thinking, you know, you cannot just ignore your mother like that. So, what do I do? We need to pay her a visit. I, I, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I'm just so confused now. Honey. your mother whether you like it or not and you must make her accept me as her daughter-in-law hey your parents are going to return back to Nigeria next month if they accept me as their son-in-law that is all right by me Shakira my parents will accept you all right but you must make your mother accept me as her daughter-in-law as well. Mama. Mama, good 
mamá. Mama, I know I've been a bad boy, but I am a changed man now. I am telling you honestly the truth. Believe me. I can be whatever you want me to be now, a good boy, whatever. I could do whatever you want me to do. Tell me, Mama, I will do it. Eh? Go into the grave and bring back Mark. Mama, Mark is dead. But you still have me. The blood of your brother cries and its tears will keep falling over your head. <sighs> Mama. Leave it. Don't come to me after using your brother for money making ritual. Mama, I swear to God. I don't have anything to do with Mark's death. I swear to God Almighty. When your father was dying, he made me make a vow that I'll see you through school. Mama, please forgive me now. Eh? Forgive me. Don't shed those crocodile tears. Is it not after Mark's death that you bought that car? Look at the type of house you are living. David, go. I don't need your wealth. Mama, how can I possibly make you understand? It's not what you think at all. Mama, Dave was not responsible for Mark's death. Please. Never you come back again. I said go and never you come back again. I don't need your words. I just can't believe it. That my mother thinks or believes that I killed my own brother. She thinks I'm a rich man and that I use my own brother for ritual. How is that possible? And then she curses me. You know what? I think it's about time to stop to all this nonsense. What do you intend to do? You'll find out. What are we doing here? This is a church. Give me to do what everyone comes to church to do. I am sorry for everything. Now I have repented of all I have done against God and against man. But Father, the truth is, I didn't kill my brother. You need to come for a real confession. Bow down your heads, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, I will thank you for the lives of these your servants. Father, I will thank you for giving them the wisdom 
to come back to you. Father, we know that there are many of them there that have not come out. Daddy gave them the power to take a bold step and come out. Father, this that you've done for them, sustain it so that all glory and honor will be unto your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You know something, Father? All of a sudden, I feel brand new. Mm. You see, when you genuinely give your life to Christ, you become a new creature. You are like a room, which is a window has just been opened. Sister, I saw you looking at the Bible. Yes, sorry. Take it. Thank you very much, Father. Yes. Take that Bible. Study it and you will find the truth. Take it with you wherever you go to. Especially as you've just given your life to Christ. You know something, Father? I want to thank you very much for everything. I really appreciate it. But there's one more. I'd like to give you something. I don't know if you can come outside and see it. No problem. I think I'll be a pleasant surprise. Here's my little gift to the church. This Jeep? Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Oh. The light of the Lord will shine upon you forever. Amen. Anything you touch will continue to be a blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Father. Oh. Okay. I'll see you some other time. Yes, Father. <sighs> good job. They were good. Shakira, let's go. Wait. Dave, are you out of your mind? That's the only car we own. I cannot keep the devil's gift. If I'm going to be leaving the court, then I have to discard everything that comes with it, including the house. The house? Yeah, I'm giving it away. Come, let's go. They have the word is sold. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> you see, any time I think of you, I, I, I beat my chest to say, yes, we have the best brain in the world. <laughs> so, what do I offer you? Mm. Well, um, sorry for my rudeness. Uh, how about that girl of yours? She's, a, she's an excellent fighter. And, uh, well, I if only I could bend the rules, I would have made her a member of um, a faculty. We need people of such um, grace. <laughs> so, any to the matter? No, sir. All right. Anything you want, whenever and wherever you need it, just let me know. Because without you, we wouldn't have been able to expose Alfred. I want out. Out. Out of what? 
out of the faculty. I know this might sound as a surprise to you, but I have chosen to give my life to Christ. Well, you know what my response would have been. Ordinarily, I would just have ignored you and do what I am traditionally supposed to do, and that is to send you to the great beyond. But I choose not to, because I find you so valuable. Come on, let me, let me let me give you something to drink. Sir, I'm serious. I want out. Well then, you'll be caught up in trouble. This has nothing to do with trouble, sir. You standing with the Grand Lord of the most powerful secret society in the world. Do you want doom upon your head? Sir, I strongly believe that at this point you can actually bend the rules because I've chosen to live a quiet life henceforth. What? Is that what you told me yesterday? Yep, yeah, that's what I said. That man is just bluffing. He cannot hold you down to one stupid cult. So that's the problem with blending, you see. Once you get in, you can't get out. Why? Well, because you know the composition of the membership. You know the entire secrets of the entire organization. You know? That's why. But honey, Dr. Matthias is a responsible fellow. And I respect him a lot. I don't think he would go to the extreme. I don't think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I've already made my point known to him, though. You see? I know he likes us very much too, but trust me, I don't, I don't see him being much of a problem. Yeah, come in. Are you expecting me? No. Hi, Shakira. Hi. Hi, Dave. Shakira, I came to apologize for what happened to the other day. I'm so sorry. You know something? Just get your trashy self out of our house now, please. What? You heard me. You're a piece of trash. Get yourself out of here now. You call me a piece of trash? Yes, that's what you are. What? You have cobwebs in your ear? You didn't hear me? You're a piece of trash. Now get out. I want to tell her to leave or I'll bulldoze her out of here myself. Um, Benita, just, you know, just go for now. Okay? Shakira. You are supporting him to walk me out of the house. Benita, just go. I will call you when we need you. Is there any problem with that? Oh. Did you listen to yourself? Which part don't you understand? Leave or leave the house? That you will call me when you need me. Me, Benita. Eh? Shakira will call me when Shakira needs me. Ah. Oh. I don't blame you. Because I brought myself to your house, right? Get out! I'll deal with you, Shakira. I swear to God, I will deal with you. You can't do anything. Get okay. your trashy self out of this place. See what I'm talking about? It's not good. Don't call her again. Why not? You can take a pig out of a sty, but you can't take a sty out of a pig. That's what it is. See, I was just fooling around with her in the first place. I, you know, taunting her, hoping that she would. She would still be calm and calculative and cool headed, but no. You see, she changed back. She said, I'll be with you, I'll be with you. Yes, come in. Oh. Thank you so very much for coming. I appreciate the gesture. Um. I asked you to come here because I want to tell you something. I want to tell you that um, I am a member of the dreaded Faculty of Humanity. Calm down, calm down. I am not here to make troubles, okay? I just called you to let you know that I need your help. You, a member of the Faculty of Humanity, you need our help. What kind of help are you talking about here? Good. Um, you see, I joined this faculty of humanity under duress because they were going to kill my brother and I. I had no choice. 
But now I want out and they won't let me. And I'll show you with your help we can dislodge that secret society. Because I know every student that is a member and also I know their leader. So all I ask is your help. Okay then. You have to come with us. Okay, fine. How did you get in here? How did you know I was rubbing my eyes? This is a little example of the power we possess. We have reached our destiny. And this is the breaking point. Or better put, the melting point. Dr. Matthias, you know, um, I suggest you leave because if my wife comes here and sees you here, she won't be happy at all. Hmm? Think. Think, Dave. Think what? Think about walking into the vault of the central bank with clips notes everywhere and having opportunity to cut away as much as you want. Dave, think about walking into a first class motor shop with all with today's cars. Picking one with a touch. It disappears only to reappear at your house. They, these, and many more will lay at your feet as a member of the faculty of humanity. You know, it seems to me like you are going to be a worse grandlord than Chief Alfred was. <laughs> Alfred was a bad grandlord. He had means to pass. He only just refused to utilize them. For centuries, our Lord and Master was tied down in hell. In the depth of hell. But this is a season. Yes. The season has come for him to take what is his. What are you talking about? The faculty of humanity stands for justice, equity. We strive to build a world without poverty, without color, without creed. We want to achieve a world with a universal currency. One visa, one passport, and a world devoid of these prevalent marriages and vagaries of religious differences. How do you intend to achieve that? I mean, besides, how are we sure you're not going to link the organization to terrorism? Soon, the president of the world we take the seat of power and then the world will know bliss. 
And who is this president? You? No. The prince of the world will be released. Or Lucifer will take his place as the right for heir to the universe. Get out. Get out of this place right now. Get out! Dave, I have the power to do anything in this world now. Even the power to stop death. If you do not get out this minute, I swear to God, I will kill you and I'll face murder. I'll turn myself in for murder. Do you understand? I say, get out! I told you that I have the power to life and death. I told you that you can have these powers if you wish. <laughs> <laughs> Shakira, wake up! Shakira! Shakira! Wake up! Oh, Dave. You just disturbed a sweet dream. Did you see it? Did, 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 did you see that? Did you see him? Did I see what? Matthias! He was here! Dave, are you okay? I'm telling you, Dr. Matthias was here! He was here! You didn't see him? Of course, Dr. Matthias was here earlier in the evening. No, 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 no. I'm talking about right now. Right, he just left here. He just left. You mean you didn't see him? Dave, why are you acting as if you've gone crazy or something? I have not gone crazy. I am telling you the truth. It's the bottom line truth. Dr. Matthias was here. He even spoke to me. He was in this house. He's... He, he killed you. He killed me. Yes! I saw him kill you. And then he raised you from the dead. And then he, did, he disappeared. Honey, you know what? Come back to sleep. Okay? Huh? Come on. Sleep. I will talk in the morning. You don't believe me? I'm so tired. I need to sleep. Oh my God. This is some serious trouble. Please, Dave. I'm just tired of all that. What is all that? No, 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 no. I'm telling you what I saw. It's a fact. Believe me. Dave, that guy is human. 
How can he be disappearing and reappearing that kills me and raises me from the dead? What's all that? Or are you suggesting I'm a spirit? You know, there's got to be only one logical explanation to which all this. Which is? Which is that Dr. Matthias has turned our court into a satanic court. That's it. Dave, but you know that is not possible. You know it. First of all, I don't believe in all these satanic powers, yeah? But all this doesn't exist. Secondly, you know what? Just... Don't say what you don't know. I'm standing here and I'm telling you that what I saw last night is for real. And you're there arguing. You know what? Suit yourself. Fine. Why did they call me? Please sit down. You've been drinking? I'm just trying to calm my nerves. You see, I need your step on my toes and I want to pay her back. How do you intend to do that? Mike, I want to join the faculty. I want to be a member of one of the most dreaded in this campus. F.O.H. is not open to women. Why not? After all, I am strong, brutal, and even more dangerous than most of the guys in there. Look, if there's any other thing you want me to do for you, I'll do it. For instance, if you want anything to happen to this girl, the faculty could make it happen. His name is Dave, sir. I, I was the first to start admiring him before she just came out from nowhere and took him from me. I want him back. Young girl, yes, sir. your request is a simple one. Come tomorrow with two dolls, one male and one female, and your heart desire shall be granted. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks. Mike, my servant. Great one. This is a great coincidence. <laughs> Maybe we'll use this to teach Dave a little lesson on the powers of the faculty. Your most wise, great one. Thank you. 
that of, of humanity. Between him and everyone he meets, we shall be restless until he goes insane and shall roam the streets until he dies. So, meet you from Shakira, and you shall despise that name. has gone wrong with Dave. He doesn't even take my calls. What would make a man abandon his house for days? I didn't do anything to him. God knows. What has gone wrong with him? Why would you let the devil to seize you? Why? Why? Mm. Wow. Give me that. See how you make me sweat. I wasn't true, making me sweat all over. <laughs> oh, baby, mm -hmm. let's have another one. Really? Yes. You know what? I've never had it so good. You know what I call what you're doing? What do you call it? I call it the demonic session. <laughs> Open your eyes. Okay. Open it wide. No, 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 not like that. <laughs> What do you think you're doing? Uh, you. Benita! That's Benita. Why are you following me up and down? Huh? Why are you telling me? Leave me alone. Leave me alone! Dave. 
Dave, what are you doing? And you? I trusted you! Just shut the trap, you fool! I told you. I warned you that I would get back at you. But you wouldn't listen! You bastard! Hey, 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 hey! Take any more step towards her, and I swear to God, I will kill you. I'm dead serious. So let her just come to me, and I'll tear her apart. Oh, God. Oh, God. God, what is this? <laughs> and for your information, Benny and I are getting married next month, okay? Yes. You're invited. <laughs> okay? I told you. I told you. Honey, could you please send this trash out of here? Because I'm still burning inside. Yeah, sure, baby. All right, leave. Go. Leave! From the back. Okay, baby. <laughs> Oh, yes, I did. Do you remember me? I am Father Johnson. Of course I do. You gave me the little Bible. Oh, yes, I did. I hope you've been reading it. Of course I have. In fact, I move around with it. Because I realize that each time I'm not with the Bible, I, I have these terrible nightmares. But each time I have it, you know, as in each time I come out with it, I don't have the nightmares. Hallelujah. I had a revelation about you. A revelation? In your dreams, you see a child. Father threw you by a monster. Oh, yes. How did you know that? Well, that thing is not a dream. In the spiritual world, it is real. I don't understand. I said, I don't get it. Father, I need serious prayers. I need you to pray for me. Listen, that child lives. And you must find him and destroy him. If not, your life will be in danger. Excuse me, Father. The Holy Spirit directed that that child must be destroyed by the mother. He is Lucifer, the Prince of Hell. Thank <laughs> you. 
What's the problem? Father, I was thinking. They wanted to sacrifice me before their altar. But God Almighty sent me using this Bible. Immediately they saw the Bible. They all fell. That was how I escaped. And I told you. I told you that as long as that child lives, you will never be saved. Father, why me? Why me? I have done nothing wrong to them. Why, why, why me? I told you he's the prince of hell. And it's only you, the mother, that can destroy him. Why has Lucifer chosen me? Why me? Listen, he's spiritual. I will make our time to explain it to you. But we must destroy him. That child must be destroyed. And it's only the mother that can destroy you. If not, you will never have any peace of mind. Lucifer, what do you want? What do you want from me? Eh? Listen. Um, Lucifer is not carnal. It's spiritual. <laughs> Calm down. Because I know that we will wrestle not against the flesh, but against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore, Daddy, I come against these evil ones. Father, I come against them in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Shakira, wherever you are, I said I will find you. Then you will know that the faculty of humanity. Whatever they are doing against your daughter Shakira, Daddy, I command the Holy Ghost fire to begin to burn them now. Let it begin to burn them now. Let it move. Let it move. Let it move in the name of Jesus Christ. Daddy, King of Death, there is none like thee. champion have a drink <laughs> uh-huh and um, for losing out mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you a drink too yeah for being a loser tell me about it <laughs> <laughs> Shakira is history. Where is Shakira? Baby, Shakira. Where is Sha Shakira? Shakira is history. Shakira. I worship you. I glorify your name. Because you always honor the world. You always honor the world. Let your world go forth and destroy your powers in 
Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father, because you answer every prayers. Thank you, Father, because you're the King of Kings. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be glorified. Be thou exalted. Be thou exalted. Be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, mighty Jehovah. Let your name be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Now, that is where the baby is. In there. Go and destroy it now. You gave birth to that baby and it's only you that can destroy him. Go and carry that pot and destroy it now. Father. Go, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Father. I covered you with the blood of Jesus. Go, go, do it. Go. I know I'm covered. Go, go and destroy it now. Don't be afraid. Do it in the name of Jesus Christ. Destroy it. Destroy it. Cover you with the blood of Jesus. Praise God. The Lord has taken over our battle. Praise God. Father, I give you praise. I worship you because you're good. Darkness shall never overcome the light. Let your life be glorified. Be thou exalted. Be thou exalted. You don't have to go. Come, come this. Hey, hey, this. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I'm on my knees. Please forgive me. You know, I wasn't in my right senses when I was doing all those things. Shakira, please. Look at me. Look at me. What happened to you? What happened to you? I destroyed them. 
you destroy the faculty. <laughs> That's not possible. Well, I did. How? They kidnapped me. And with the help of a man of God, we destroyed them. All of them. Please, 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 you can't leave. You can't leave me now, please. Listen, uh, I'll make it up to you. I'll, I promise I'll make it up to you. Please, don't go. Don't go. Students walk in line to throw in their votes in that ballot box. I know that my destiny has begun to be the yes, next so president yes. of the SUG. Yes, 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 Just to protect themselves 